this is Chris Gould with Geeks on Tour, and I want to show you how you get started with LastPass. There's two things you need to do. Number one, you need to sign up for an account. And number two, you need to install the browser extension. Let me show you how. Go to the website lastpass.com, then click the button to get free LastPass. Now you'll have to enter your email and create your master password. Your master password must be strong. It's important, but it's also important that it's something you can remember from now on. It's the only password you will need to remember. You can enter a hint to help you remember what it is, and then you click the red Sign Up for Free button. Next is to install the browser extension. You can click on Install LastPass or it will go there automatically. Click Add to Chrome, then Add Extension. When it's done, you will see the three dot LastPass icon in the upper right. It may also be under this little puzzle piece icon. That is your Chrome extensions. You would still need to log in then to the extension. So here is where you need to remember your the email address you used and your master password. This is where you're logging in to the extension. When it is logged in, it is active. When you look at your extensions, you'll see the icon has turned red. Now LastPass is working for you on your Chrome. Now that you've signed up for an account and you've installed the browser extension, it's time to start filling in your passwords. LastPass can do that for you automatically just when you first visit your sites. So here we are at a site that we can sign in Fill in your name and password and sign in. LastPass will offer to save that password so you never have to remember it again. Just click Add. Let's do one more. Just to see that this happens automatically just as you go through your daily work and you log in to places, they will start building your password list in LastPass. So here we are at PicMonkey. Log in, fill in your username and password, and log in. And LastPass offers to add it to your list. You'll never have to remember that password again. Let's see how it looks then when you go back the next time to log into some place that LastPass has. So here we are back at Walgreens and I need to sign in. Just click on sign in and boom, LastPass has filled in the email and the password. All you have to do is click sign in. You're done. So that's it. You sign up for an account, install the browser extension, add your existing passwords, and then if you want, you can add the mobile app to your mobile devices and use LastPass there. We'll have another video on that.